In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some Primaris Space Wolf characters. Hello, this is Craig from bizbox.co.uk. So in this video, we're going to make a couple of Space Wolf characters out of Primaris Space Marines. Um, a big thank you to Megaforced, who um, requested this conversion. So he wanted to do um, a Rune Priest or a Wolf Lord, and well, I thought we'd do both. Um, so he's um, making a Primaris Space Wolves army, which is really cool. So I'm going to show you how to make a, a Wolf Lord and a Rune Priest um, for the Space Wolves. So um, sit back and enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to make a couple of Space Wolf characters, um, but we're going to give them Primaris armor. So I've got a couple of the lieutenants um, from the Dark Imperium set, and I've glued them up to this state. So we've got one with its torso and legs and the backpack, and one just torso and legs. So this is going to be our Rune Priest. This will be our Wolf Lord, so we'll put Wolf Lord to one side and we'll start with the Rune Priest. Now the first thing I want to change about this is the helmet on the leg there. We need to get rid of that. That needs to go. Um, so we're going to clip that away. Now that's going to leave a bit of a mess where it used to be. So we'll find something suitable to replace that. So it comes away quite easily actually. Um, I don't need to use a lot of force. So I need to get this in shot, don't I? Um, <laughs> let's cut that away like so. You see it leaves this nasty little mess. But we can put something there, pouches, um, a holster or something. That'll cover up that very nicely. We have a little bit just flash on the leg there to clean up. These Primaris miniatures have a lot of mold lines and flash. I'm not going to um, go nuts in regards to cleaning them up. I'm just going to now I'm just take off little bits here and there. See, I've got a holster on this side, so maybe we won't put a holster on the other side. We'll find a large pouch or something. Next thing we have to do is take off these little pegs on the arms as well. We don't want them. Um, well, hmm. Just looking at the arms he has got. We'll take this one off. We'll take this one off. Because we are going to completely replace this arm. So I'm going to equip him with a... Um, rune axe and plasma pistol. Just fire them down over here. I'll move the camera over slightly. So I have the camera facing that way because, as you can see, there's a horrible sort of glare from the lights reflecting over there. But it's a bit more comfortable for me to be over here. So I apologise for this little glare over here. We'll put where is it? We'll put some spray over it. There we go. <laughs> that spray's not going to stay there very long. And so, um, what I have got here is the space wolf upgrade. Um, this is going to come in handy for both these conversions. Um, if you're a Space Wolf player, certainly pick a few of these up. Um, but first, we're going to give him a plasma pistol from the Grey, um, Grey Hunter set, or Space Wolves pack, or whatever GW are calling that these days. And yeah, I'm just using a regular Space Marine arm on the Primaris. You can get away with using the arms. No trouble. And we'll glue that on. Like so. Just hold it in place just for a little bit. That's pretty cool. For his other arm, we're going to give him the axe. Um, this is the arm that comes with the um, lieutenant. We need to chop this bolt rifle off. And we need to really chop. Okay, so I'm going to chop that there like that. Let's get this. We need to get this hand off. And this thing's just going to get in the way, so we'll bend that out of the way. We need to chop the hand here. And then we should just be able to just to take off there. Now it does leave a little bit of a mess near the shoulder pad here. But we can just knee on that, knee on that up with a file. And then we can put on the axe. 
from there. So you could choose to use a completely different arm if you want. You could just use a regular Space Marine arm or something. Depending on what position you want the X to be. And I'm just kneading up this arm a bit more. Give it all the rubbish and we're going to put the X on like so. So I've gone like that. Now we want to flatten this area. So I'll just flatten that. And then we can get that glued on. So I'll get this glued on and then we'll get it stuck on with the miniature. Okay, so that is now on. And this is sort of the um, pose that you get using that arm. And um, that's quite cool. I'm quite happy with that. Um, next we're going to add a head. And going back to the Space Wolves upgrade, I'm going to take this little sort of wolf style head. I think it's very cool. You get one similar in the Grey Hunters box as well. Um, I'm going to use this one. Yeah, I'm going to put it on just like, just like that. Also, it's always important to have him looking in the same way where he's shooting or aiming his gun. So, looks pretty pretty good, pretty close. Um, it's a bit harder with this little neck thing there to get it dead right, um, but we'll do that. Next, we have to give him a shoulder pad on this side as well. And again, I'm going to go to the sprue. I'm going to pick one of these ones with a little sort of diamond on them. And so we'll have the Space Wolves symbol on them. And we're going to use this one if the camera wants to focus. And we'll bung that on his arm. And of course we've got a blank one on the other side. So you can paint some fancy little Space Wolf pattern or something on there if you so wish. And we'll pop that on there like so. So there's only a couple... More things to do for this guy. First one is to cover up this gap that we talked about earlier, and I think the ideal solution is these pouches. Oh, can't hold them. So these are from the Space Marine Tactical Squad, and they're large enough just to fill this gap. And what I like about Primaris Marines is that all these pouches and stuff—they don't look too too out of place on them. So we'll put that on there, like so. So then you've got the little pouch there, and the two larger pouches. And um, if you can try and get them lined up, that'll make it look even nicer. Like so. They don't stick out too much, they do a little bit, but they're not too bad. You could put anything you want there, I just don't want to put another holster because he's already got one. And then lastly, um, let's just space wolf them up just a little bit more with one of these little pelt things. So these are quite common in the space wolf kits. Uh, most of them have them. Certainly in the wolf guard terminators and the great hunters kits you'll find these. And we're going to put that... I think I want to put it there. So I'm just going down his leg. Like so. And that is our Rune Priest, with a Plasma Pistol and a Runic Axe. So let's put him to one side, and we'll look at him in more detail at the end of the video. And we'll get this bit of out of way. So this is the body for the um, Wolf Lord. First things first, we're going to give him a new backpack. So while regular Space Marine backpacks are slightly smaller than the Primaris ones. They don't look too out of place um, on the Primaris. So I'm going to use V1 from the Upgrade Sprue. And I just file down some bits and pieces for it. And we'll probably have to cut this bit off the back because this is like sort of a... It's not a rounded piece on the back. And we'll just file this down. So lots of cutting and filing, I do apologise. And that should fit nicely on the back. And once I just file it down, just a bit more. The clippers didn't seem to cut it as well as I liked. So I'm just filing down the back. Get a nice flat 
piece on the back and that can go on there like so. And yeah, while it still look a bit smaller than the Primaris ones, I think it, it'll go on there quite nicely. And it'll look okay. Like so. With a nice little wolf head on there as well. Looks really nice. So, the next thing I want to do is cut off these little bits here for, for the arms, because we're going to put some different arms on. So I'll just file them down flat, and then I'll be back. So they're now flat, ready for arms, and we're going to go back into the Grey Hunter set. Now I'm going to equip this guy just with his basic loadout. So the Wolf Lord, at the moment of filming, uses the stats of the Space Marine Captain. And he has a Mastercrafted Bolt Gun and Chainsword. We can, of course, give him a Storm Shield and Relic Blade, which is probably a better option, but we're going to go with a basic option here. So we're going back to the Grey Hunters and we're getting this Bolt Gun. This is a really cool Bolt Gun, but with Wolf's head on it. I really like it. So we're going to glue that on there like so. And I think we'll have it pointing down a little bit. Like that. For the other arm we're going to use a really cool chainsaw from the upgrade kit. And I've already glued it onto an arm. And the arm is from the Vanguard Veterans. I'm going to focus. But I absolutely love this chainsaw. I mean, you look how long it is. Like it's all well, that is as high as as high as him. Now that is a chainsaw. So, yeah, well, one of my favourite bits on that sprue for sure. And we're gonna glue that on. And like so, we'll have him holding it up like that. Okay, so while they're drying, we'll get a couple of shoulder pads. So I'm going to go back to the, the Vanguard Veterans, where we got the arm from. I'm just going to take this plain shoulder pad here. And then we're going to get one of the nice Space Wolf ones, of course, to go with it. And I quite like this one with the little runes hanging off it. We also need a head, and I'll just take the bare head off the upgrade sprue. Of course, there are absolutely tons of Space Wolf heads you could go with. So the choice really is yours. Now, the Grey, Grey Hunters and the Terminators especially have excellent heads for this, but I actually quite like this one. Um, this is from the upgrade kit. So my hands in a way I'm just holding them in place. Um, yeah, he's going to look pretty cool. Uh, if we can get this head on with the hair. If not, maybe I'll look into a different head. I'll just have to check to see what I've got. Okay, so I have actually got this one, which I really like, from the Grey Hunter set. So we're going to use that. I think maybe for a Wolf Lord, have a nice bearded head is probably better to go for as well. So we'll get that glued on. And we'll put that on there like so. Maybe have it angled down a little bit. And then we'll glue on his shoulder pads also. Like so. So just a little dollop of glue on each one. And one space wolf one on the other side. And generic one on there like that. And I'll just give them a few moments to dry. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is give them a nice sort of wolf um, cloak hanging from the back. And um, we have this body back that comes with the upgrade sprue. Of course, we need to cut away all this back area. So I'm going to take my clippers and I'm going to sort of cut, cut sort of a V shape going into this. Um, so it's like that. And in theory, 
we should just be able to slide it on up. Just try and get it under this backpack. Um, easier said than done. Because of all the stuff in the way. I think it's getting caught on his legs, but we can maybe have it at some sort of angle. I'm going to um, have a little play around with that, and then I'll be back um, with what I come up with. Okay, so it's quite simple, really. Um, I just bent these arms of the um, wolf skin just back and just slotted it up underneath the backpack. Now, in hindsight, I should have maybe left the backpack till last, so if you're making one yourself, um, just bear that in mind, but that's okay. Now, if you want to be really fancy, you could put some green stuff up here and green stuff the rest of it so it looks more natural as well, but apart from that, we have our wolf lord. So, I'm going to just change the camera angle and we'll get a good look at both miniatures. So here are both the miniatures. Now um, if I had another one of them little pelts there I'd put one on the wolf lord as well just to make him look a bit more space wolfy but I um, still think he looks pretty cool um, as he is. Um, yeah so quite simple conversion to do. They make good use of the Grey Hunters kit as well as the upgrade sprue for space wolves. Um, yeah, you have just such a great variety of options available to you. So if you are collecting space wolves, then you know, you know, you got fantastic conversion opportunities. So yeah, really cool. Um, I'm not actually collect space wolves myself, so I don't know what I'm going to do with these miniatures. And uh, maybe I'll give them away or something in the future. But yeah, I'm really happy with how they turned out, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video. And of course, if you have, you can give it a thumbs up. Um, you can also um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and there's also that little bell icon down the bottom that you can click and get notified whenever new videos go up. Um, we have a conversion video going up every week, um, every Wednesday, in fact. So, um, this is that to look forward to. Um, hopefully the next one is going to be the Orc Warboss on bike, which I'm very looking forward to trying out. Um, that was a viewer suggestion, as was this one, as mentioned in the intro. So thank you so much for those who have been suggesting videos and please do keep your suggestions coming in because I'm really enjoying doing these actually and it's really cool to do ones that people have asked for. And all I have to say is thank you so much for watching and we do have a Patreon giveaway ongoing at the moment so you can feel free to check Patreon out um, with a link down below. Um, but again, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.